Alright guys, welcome to this NumPy tutorial series. In the last video, we learned about the basics of KV and how to create multi-dimensional arrays. We also learned about shapes. In this video, we are going to learn how to extract any kind of values in these arrays or how to index these values properly. So for example, if we want this value 3 to come out and use uh, as we want, we need to find out what its index is and how to take these values and print them on our terminal. So we are going to be learning such stuff today. And also like let's say we want 12, 13 or 10, just 14 or the whole row. How do we do that? And we are also going to learn how to do that in this 3D three dimensional array. So first let's just work with simple one dimensional array so i'm just going to print that out on the screen so that you guys don't get confused as to what we are working with so you can see we have a simple one dimensional array over here so let's say we want to extract the value of three so what the value of three is going to be just like we did using list that is zero one two so we are just going to simply print out print a and then just like we did in list we are just going to print out the value of two because this will be starting with zero. So zero, one, two, and that's pretty much it. So this should give us the value of three, as you can see over here. And let's say we want to find out the value of five. That's also going to be very, very easy. So zero, one, two, three, four. So we're just gonna write four over here. Indexing always starts at zero if you guys don't know about it, but I'm pretty sure anybody who's watching this video probably already knows about less. So anyways, let's say we want the values of one, three, and five separately. This is a little bit different because this is known as advanced indexing and I don't want you guys to get confused. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write a comment over here. So don't get too much confused by this advanced indexing. I'm just telling you guys this so that this is in the back of your minds and you can use it whenever you want. So what we are gonna do is I'm just gonna create a variable just to make everything clear. And instead of one bracket, I'm just gonna put in two bracket and then we are just gonna write down the values that we want. So for example, we want the value of one, three, and five. Now there are multiple ways to get the value of one, three, five, four. So advanced indexing is just one of the ways. So the index of one is zero, three is two, and five is four. So we are just gonna put in the values that. So zero, two, and four, and this should give us the value of, that we want. So let's just print this out, print B. Um, and actually let's call it something different because our array is already uh, B. So I'm just gonna change the value to Z. Let's print this out and you can see one, three, five over here and you can just change the index number and it will give you different values. So this is for one dimensional array. So now let's move on to the 2D array. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna print this 2D array out so that we don't get confused. So let's print this out and you can see the values over here. And now let's see if we want to print out this value of 12. Now what happens in 2D arrays is that there is a row and there is a column. The row is from left to right and the column is from top to down. And how it works is that first we write down the value of row and then the value of column. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a comment over here so that you guys know. So as you can see inside square brackets first there is the row and then there is the column. So for example, if you want to find out the value of uh, 12, the index value of 12, you can see this is in the first row and indexing that means it's in the zeroth row and in the columns it's on the one so zero one right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to print this out and i'm going to go with the b because we are working with 2d array so first we want the zeroth row that is this row zeroth row and then we want the first column so this 10 21 will be the zeroth column and this 12 22 will be the first column so I'm just going to write the first over here and print this out. So you can see we have 12 over here. Now let's say we want the value of 23. So this is the zeroth row and then this is the first row. So we want the value in the first row and then this 23 is in the second column. It's actually in the third column but in terms of indexing it's in the second column. So zeroth column, first column and then the second column. So instead of 1 I'm just going to write 2 and let's print this out so this should give us the value of 23. So just remember the, this combination of row and column this is going to be really really helpful. So now what we want to do is let's say we want the whole second row over here to be printed not just specific values. So for that what we can do is I'm just going to put a comment over here. Let's say we want a specific row so you're just going to write the row which you want and then this colon over here because we want all the columns of that specific row. So I'm just going to write print and we want the two dimensional one. So let's say we want this row, right? The second row. So this is the zeroth row and then this is the first row. So we want the first row and we want all the values 21, 22, 23, 24. 
that is why we are just going to put a colon after a comma over here and this should give us the values that is the 21 23 24 now let's say we want just like we did over here in the advanced indexing we want specific values let's say we want 21 and 23 only that's it this 21 and 23 only so then we have to work something with known as the step size so how that is going to work i'm just going to add a comment over here so everything is very very clear so we will start with the row and then we will start with the start index so i'm just going to explain while we um, actually create it and then index plus one and then the step size so let's say we want the values 21 and 23 not the whole row so what i'm going to do is i'm again i'm just going to write print b and then we want the row number so this is in the first row remember this is the zeroth row the first row so this is in the first row and then we want the start index where do you want the starting to be from so this is zeroth column so we want the starting to be from zero and then put a colon and then the index plus one so we want to go from zero to one to two so I'm just going to write 2 and there it's plus 1 so I'm just going to write 3 because 23 is on the second index and then if we add 1 it's going to get to 3 and then the step size so we want it to jump by 2 so it's what it's going to do is it's going to start from 0th index that is 21 and then it's going to jump by 2 so 0, 1, 2 right it's going to jump by 2 and it's going to come to 23 so I'm just going to put a comma over here and then put the step size so step size is by how many places you want it to jump from so let's try it out click on play all right this is giving us an error because instead of this comma i have to put the colon over here so let's just put the colon and click on play so yeah this is gonna give us the value of 21 and 23 now what what happens if we just want the values let's say 21 and 24 so what we are gonna do is we are just gonna go with the process again and let's just do it with the with the first row this time so we want 10 and 14 let's just say all right so we have to start with a row so this is the zeroth row so we are just going to write zero and then the start index the start index is going to be from zero right and then we are going to put a colon and we want the end index end index plus one so we are just going to write three plus one is four because zero one two three and we want plus one over here so we are just going to write four and what is the step size we want it to step by three so for example it's going to start with 10 and then one step two step and then the third step is going to take it to 14 so we are just going to write three over here and this should just give us the value of 10 and 14 so let's click on play and you can see we have just 10 and 14 over here now what if we want the values let's say 10 12 13 but not 14 that is even simpler so what we are going to do is we are just going to remove this and we are just going to go from 0th row because this is the 0th row and we want the value so let's just play it and see what it looks so this actually is getting a little bit confusing so let me just remove the rest of them and don't worry about the code that i'm removing all of this code is going on github so if you currently look at the description you'll find uh, the github link so don't worry about all this stuff it's all going to be on github all right so let's just click on play and this should give us the whole row right 10 12 13 14 because this is from 0 to 4 so 0 1 2 3 and you can see the index plus 1 is there so if you want to remove the 14 you just need to do 3 that's pretty much it 10 12 13 and let's say you just want 10 and 12 then just remove the 3 from here click on play and 10 12 that's pretty much it and what you can also do let's just say you want 12 and 13 right so you can just increase it by one and then you want the 13th number so you need to increase this by one because it's index plus one right and the 13 is on zero one two so and two plus one is three so we're just going to write three over here and this should give us 12 and 13 pretty easy right it might get a little bit confusing but stay with it and try to kind of figure out on your own just try out different different values and see what it gives you after some time it will get less confusing now let's move on to 3d dimensional arrays over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all of this and go to our 3d dimensional array and click on uh, play so that you know how it looks now 3d dimensional array is not that different you just have to focus on that you have to grow from outer array to inner array and then to the element that you want so for example in this example there are two main arrays and then inside these two main arrays in each of them there are three nested arrays right and inside each of these nested arrays there are two values in each of the arrays pretty simple so how it goes is first there are two outermost arrays and then inside each of them there are three arrays 
and inside each of these three arrays there are two elements two three two pretty easy all right so how it's gonna work is i'm just gonna write print and let's say we want want the value of four over here four over here it's pretty simple so first of all what we are gonna do is we are just gonna go whether we want the zeroth array or this first array we want this four is in the zeroth array so we are just gonna write zero and then inside when we go inside this outermost array the first array then which array is it from is it in the zeroth one is it in the first one or is it in the second one it's in the first one so we are just gonna write first over here and then it's the first value or the second value It's the second value right and because it's indexing it's actually the zeroth value or the first value it's the first value so we are just gonna write that and then click on play so this should give us the value of four now you don't need to put these square brackets over here it's just like uh, because i come from java uh, it's kind of my bad habit what you can just do is remember the zero one one so what you can do is uh, you can just write zero comma one comma one and that's uh, like the functionality of numpy you can just click on play and this will also give you four now let's say we want this value of let's say 11 right so what we are going to do is let me just remove all of this put in brackets so this 11 is in the second array or the first index value so this is the zeroth array this is the first array and it's in the first array so we are just going to write one comma and then it's in this uh, zeroth array it's in this first array or it's in the second array it's in the second array so we are just going to write two and then it's the first value or the second value is the first value so we are just going to write one or oh, sorry it's in the zeroth value or is the first value so we are just going to write zero right and let's just play it and this should give us the value of 11 now just try this out a couple of times so that you guys get comfortable with it now what if we want the whole row in 3d dimensional array so let's say we want this value of 9 and 10 how you're gonna do that it's gonna basically work the same way so let's remove everything from here so this 9 and 10 the the, the whole row is in the zeroth array or in the first array it's in the zeroth array right so we're just gonna write zero and then put a comma is the zeroth array or the inside the nested array is it the zeroth array the first array or the second array is the second one so we are just going to write second and because we want the both columns both 9 and 10 we are just going to put a colon over here and that's pretty much it this should give us the value of 9 and 10 now let's try it out with 11 and 12 maybe right so is it the first array it's sorry is it the zeroth array or is it the first array the first array so we are just going to change this value to 1 and uh, the same thing over here let's get the value of 7 and 10 so is it the zeroth one or the first one the first one and we want both of the columns so we are just going to click on play and this should give us 7 8 now what if we want the values of 5 7 and 11 that's it right so we're going to be basically doing the same thing if we value want the values of 5 7 and 11 are they in the zeroth one or in the first one they are in the first one so we are just going to write one and because we want the values of all 5 7 and 11 so we want all these three arrays so we are just going to put a colon over here all right and because they are in the zeroth column or so zeroth column is 5 7 11 and the first column is 6 8 12 we want the zeroth column or the first column we want the zeroth column so i'm just going to put the value of zero over here and that's pretty much it guys and it's going to give us the 5 7 11 so we have learned how to extract and identify values and how to get them inside a variable print them out on a screen with all the one dimensional two dimensional and three dimensional arrays and you just kind of play around with it just to get a little bit more comfortable so this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to learn how to copy values from one array to another and how to change values so let's say in this uh, example we just learned how to index the values of 7 8 in the next video we are also going to learn how to change these values of 7 8 so yeah that's going to be a pretty cool video and i'll see you over there